Hi Weekly Tech here your tech buddy, do you think your Facebook account was hacked or someone is using it without your permission? Well, this video is for you, but before that, if you are just new to this channel, allow me to welcome you to our community. In this community I am uploading simple but useful videos about technological awareness weekly or as regular as I can. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe now to this channel and hit that notification bell for you to be updated of our weekly tech video. If you think your account has been hacked or taken over, I will help you recover your account just follow the steps carefully and watch this video until the end. Let's start. First how can I know if my Facebook have been hacked? Well if you notice one of the following, it is certain that your Facebook have been hacked. 1. Your email or password have changed. 2. Your name or birthday have changed. 3. Friend requests have been sent to people you don't know. 4. Messages have been sent that you didn't write. Lastly number 5. Posts have been made that you didn't create. First method, if you still have access to your email account associated with Facebook. If the email associated with your Facebook account has changed or removed by the attackers you can reverse this. When an email is changed the Facebook send a message to the previous email account with a special link. You can click this link to reverse the email change and secure your account. Second method. What if you can no longer access your email or mobile number associated with your Facebook account? Follow the simple steps. Important note before we start. For this method to work make sure you are using same mobile phone and same network or Wi-Fi connection that you previously used to log in your hacked Facebook account. I will be using first desktop computer if you are using mobile phone you may skip this portion of this video. Let's start, open the Google Chrome web browser. And type in my Facebook was hacked, how can I recover? Select the second link of the search result. Click Facebook help page. And click get started. Answer the security help question based from your actual situation. Then you will be directed to the Facebook identity page. I have a separate video for this, just click it here or here, and I will also link that in the description. Now let me show you using tablet or android phone. If this step will not work for both mobile or desktop computer, this will be the last step to recover your account. Let us use the confirm Facebook confirm my identity, in this page we are going to upload IDs to confirm our identity with Facebook. It may take so long for our identity to be reviewed by Facebook because of this reason. Because of COVID-19 pandemic the Facebook cannot review right away your IDs. Facebook have fewer people available to review IDs. Facebook is trying hard to prioritize reviews for the most urgent cases. This means the Facebook may be unable to review your ID, or it may take longer than usual. After you send a copy of your ID, it'll be encrypted and stored securely. Your ID won't be visible on your profile, to friends or to other people on Facebook. To help ensure IDs used for identity confirmation are real, Facebook use both manual review and automated systems. Facebook may also partner with trusted service providers to confirm your identity. This helps detect and prevent risks such as impersonation or ID theft, keeping you and the Facebook community safe. To help improve Facebook systems for detecting fake IDs and related abuse, we may securely store your ID for up to one year. We'll always let you know at the time if they will do this, and you can change this at any time in your identity confirmation settings. When you capture a photo of your ID, the photo might be stored on your device. For security reasons, it's often better to delete this photo from your device's photo gallery after you've completed the ID upload process. What types of ID does Facebook accept? If you need to confirm your name on Facebook, or if you've lost access to your account, you may be asked to send Facebook a copy of something with your name on it. 
You have several different options for this, including photo IDs issued by the government, IDs from non-government organizations, official certificates or licenses that include your name, or other physical items like a magazine subscription or a piece of mail. Important note, don't digitally conceal ID information. To help Facebook prevent fake IDs and other abuse, they don't accept photos that have been digitally modified to hide information. You can also physically cover any non-essential information on your ID before you take a photo of the document. Government IDs. You can send Facebook one government ID to confirm your name or regain access to your account. Anything that you send Facebook should contain either your name and date of birth or your name and photo. Birth certificate. Driver's license. Passport. Marriage certificate. Non-driver's government ID, X, disability, SNAP card, national ID card, pension card, green card, residence permit or immigration papers, voter ID card, family certificate, visa, tax identification card. Non-government IDs. If you don't have a government ID, you can send Facebook two different non-government IDs. I will repeat you need to send two different non-government IDs. Anything that you send Facebook must include your name, and at least one of the two documents should contain your date of birth and or photo. The name on the items that you send Facebook should be the same name that you want to show on your profile. Keep in mind that if you've lost access to your account, you may be asked to provide something from the list that also shows a photo or date of birth that matches the details on your Facebook account. This extra precaution is so that they can make sure that the only one with access to your account is you bank statement, transit card, check, credit card, employment verification, library card, mail, magazine subscription stub, medical record, membership ID, X, pension card, union membership, work ID, professional ID, paycheck stub, permit, school ID card, school record, utility bill, yearbook photo, actual scan or photograph of the page in your yearbook, company loyalty card, contract, family registry, diploma, certificate of registration for accreditation or professional, professional license card, health insurance, address proof card, personal or vehicle insurance card. That's all for this video. Comment down below if this video helps you recover your account. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe now to this channel. See you on our next video. Bye.